Hi everyone, Sean Carey with Migration Productions. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Natural World. I am up on Zoom with my good friend Wayne Peterson with the Massachusetts Audubon Society. And we are going to talk about the annual Birdathon. And things have changed slightly this year, and that's why I'm ringing up Wayne, as it were, to discuss the importance of Birdathon, the history of Birdathon, and some other aspects of this very important fundraiser for the Massachusetts Audubon Society. Wayne, how are you doing? I'm fine, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to see you. I wish we could do it in person, but uh, this is just the way things are. It is the way things are, that's for sure. So, Wayne, uh, the Birdathon, uh, real quickly, what, what is the history behind the Birdathon? Well, at Mass Audubon, we got started back in the early 1980s, and that was about the time that a lot of uh, Birdathons got started. Fundraising devices that would include sponsorship on the part of, of generous sponsors, as well as birders and, and people who are willing to go out and track down birds. So in the early years, most of the participants would pledge a certain amount of money, maybe let's say 25 cents a bird, and based on how many they saw, it would be that number times 25 cents or whatever their sponsor had pledged. It turns out that it's our biggest single fundraiser of the year. Because last year, you know, we raised about $240,000. There's not a lot of overhead or anything taken out of that money. Yeah, I'm imagining that, you know, when this all went down with the coronavirus, that there must have been going for the panic button, thinking that, oh my God, what is this going to do to Birdathon now that people can't get together? And this is a major source of income coming in in terms of a fundraiser for an organization like Mass Audubon. Yeah, that's a very good point. And it, it is a reality to an extent. The way, again, traditionally the program was operated, sanctuaries would have teams of people that would be covering the state, essentially trying to round up as many birds as they could during the 24-hour period. And then at the end of the day, so to speak, the cumulative total of all the the bird species that the various sub teams found for each of the, the sanctuaries or whatever, that would become the number that would ultimately be their score. This year, as you just reminded us, the, uh, the fact that people can't just go any of the places they might have historically gone and so on, we're actually calling this a bird at home a thon. And the participants are being encouraged to literally bird from their homes trying to engage more young people and families and this kind of thing. So essentially the idea is to bird from your yard or from you know, a comfortable walking distance of where you live. Eventually we'll have a cumulative statewide total of birds seen. That will be the total that the Birdathon records this year. Last year we, we uh, collectively saw 273 species. I think it's realistic to think that probably we won't see that many this year. It's been dramatic how many people have already signed up. It's, it's almost twice the number already. Um, so far, all the indications are that it's, it's people are responding and wow, this, this could be really fun. So we've got a lot of new people. But I'll check back in with you tomorrow and hopefully people will uh, be very interested in helping uh, Mass Audubon with their own donation. I myself am birding for Massachusetts Blue Hills Trailside Museum and the money that I'm raising is gonna to go to Norman Smith and his Snowy Owl Project. And Wayne, I wanna thank you for hooking up with me today here on Zoom. I mean, it's the best game in town, Sean. This is more fun <laughs> than I'll have all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's a good way to stay connected. And again, I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow afternoon and uh, we'll see what happens. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Sean. And good luck to you and everybody else that's participating in the Birdathon this year. And, and I'll thank you for Mass Audubon since I have the microphone at the moment. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Hello everyone, welcome back for the Friday evening, 6 p.m. We're waiting for the clock to strike 6 o'clock here. We're going to head down to Sunset Lake. Donna's going to join me. I don't know, are we bringing the dog? Yes. We're not bringing the dog. Donna's going to help me out here tonight and again I think tomorrow afternoon. I've got my Sibley guide all loaded up. also have my Sibley guide in here ready to go. And the goal is to get the first five birds here, which I'm living a pretty densely populated a neighborhood, so I'm not going to get a lot of interesting or exotic birds. Back history on the Birdathon team that I'm part of, which is for Blue Hills Trailside Museum. Uh, we've been doing it since 1996. This is the book or the Bible that we keep for our team. Uh, this would be our 25th year, but now with the uh, situation that's underhand now, everyone's doing it solo, and we're going to tally your birds on our own by foot or by bike. I'm going to do a little bit of both. Considering the, the type of habitat that I have, probably reaching 50 or 60 species is going to be about the limit that I think I'm going to hit. Uh, but I'm going to get a hold of my buddy Yupdecker and Fred Bouchard and Steve Anderson 
and I think we're going to check in with Cliff Cook as well. And then we're going to pull our tallies together and we're going to put those in just for our team records, not for the sanctuary, just so we can kind of keep track of it that way. Okay, just turned 6 o'clock. There we go, 6 p.m. Goes to 6 p.m. tomorrow night. First bird, Chimney Swift, which is what I thought was going to be one of the first birds, so Chimney Swift. So there's one. Let's see what we get for our second bird. Dead silence, 6 o'clock. All the birds shut down. Okay, we just got a robin. That's our second bird. Okay, so we've got two species. I wanted to get five here on the, on the porch. I'm not sure if that's going to happen now. How's Sparrow? Okay, that's three. Okay, we just had the Chipping Sparrow. Now we're up to four. One more for five for the deck and then on to Sunset Lake. Starling just flew by. That's our fifth bird. Okay, off to Sunset Lake we are. Stay tuned. Okay, just walking down to Sunset Lake, we had a black cat chickadee, we had a goldfinch, we got a comorant, a pair of uh, eastern kingbirds, racking up a few birds there. Just picked up a cardinal, added another one, and I think a red winged blackbird. Red wing and grackle. Tree swallows over on the sand over here on the beach. Oh, Canada goose, standing right here. Okay, we're at the next spot, and we picked up a morning dove, a crow, American crow. It was a Baltimore Oriole that was just calling above. We also had a blue jay when we left the first cemetery there by Sunset Lake. I think I forgot to mention that one. Oh, we got common yellow throat. That was another one. We had a common yellow throat over here calling. It's a nice habitat. I thought we'd get a few more birds here, but we're on the other side of. Uh, Sunset Lake now. We On the way down we had a house wren. We just picked up a wood duck, which was nice. That was a nice one to add. And a tufted titmouse, so two more. red belly woodpecker. Just heard it again. That's the other one we got. red belly woodpecker. So three more. We keep getting them. No sooner do I turn the camera off, we had a red-tailed hawk it was actually being dive-bombed by a pair of kingbirds. So the red tail just scooted off. Nice. Getting towards the end of daylight here. We can hear it back here. There's a common yellow throat, and we added a new species, our first yellow warbler. So far, so good. Tomorrow's another day. Stay tuned. Well, I thought we were done, but no sooner did I we walk, I don't know, maybe 100 yards or more, and we just had a catbird, so we added one more. Well, there we go. Catbird's on the list. Stay tuned. Okay, made it back to the house, and you know who is here. Let's go, come on. Okay, it is almost six o'clock, five, about five minutes to. I have the bike all set, backpack ready to go. The dog is looking at me, wanting to go, but she can't. We're off to see what birds we can find and rack them up. Had a problem with my microphone at the first location. However, I had wood thrush and I got a flicker. So two good pickups there. Still had the problem with the microphone at Sunset Lake. However, there were a pair of buffalo heads out there. So that was good birds to pick up. Just picked up a pair of warbling vireos. There's two of them in here. They might even be nesting in here. I'll hope for some more birds. All right. Just picked up a spotted sandpiper flying out. black throated blue over here. Just picked up Northern Water Thrush. That was a nice one. Song Sparrow falling overhead. And a pair of Yellow Rump Warblers. Racking them up. Racking them up. Yes! Just turn the camera off. Turn around. Get another bird. Some rough wing swallows out here with the tree swallows flying around. So picked up another one. Got another swallow species. Now we gotta go. Just got another one. Got another bird. Time to move on. A few birds had a great crested flycatcher, Carolina wren, and a black and white warbler. Picked up three good birds. Or do I turn the camera off? I get a flock of about a half a dozen or more cedar wax ones just over top. So there you go. So I just got turkey vulture flying overhead at this little spot right next to the South Shore Plaza, and I picked up a Lincoln spot. I heard it. Took note, went over, checked it out. Had to verify with my Sibley. Definitely least fly catcher. We're moving. 
just picked up a black burnian right behind me. Excellent species. Uh, heard a calling. Psyched to get that one. All right, let's keep moving. Just picked up Red Start. Added another one. Another one for the list. Just about to leave Eastern Phoebe right here. I did pick up the herring gall. Uh, picked up the Eastern Phoebe. And I had that, uh, that mockingbird over in the corner as well. All right, let's move. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a male turkey, a gobbler right in front of me here, and the female's off to the right. He was just in full display. <sighs> okay, this part here is actually, I think, part of the Blue Hills Reservation, uh, but there's this nice long path that cuts through. There's kind of a marsh area over on this side here. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Just had a Virginia rail over here calling. I was hoping it was gonna call again which I thought was a, a chance of getting one here. Okay, I just push right, there he is, right there. Virginia rail. Oh, I know you're not gonna see it on the camera, but he's right in front of me. Oh, just walked right to my right, from left to right. Here we go. Oh. That was him calling, nice. He's right here, right here. All right, bud, you're on your own. I'm out of here. Let's go. Just came across this, I think it's a water snake, but I'm worried that someone's gonna run over him, so I'm gonna scoot him off the road a little bit here. If a biker came down here, he may not see him. I'm just gonna get him off the side of the road just a little bit. There he goes. Nice little flurry here. Black Burnian, added a new one, Pine Warbler. Black-throated blue, there's a Perula calling. Nice little fall out here. All right, gonna keep moving. And just picked up a downy woodpecker. All the way back. That was a downy call. Just finished up this stretch here. Gonna head down the road to Great Pond on Braintree, Randolph Line. See what else we were able to find and we're gonna move on down the road. Okay, let's go. I just had a Merlin come bombing through here. Went right along the shoreline here cut into the right over that little pond. Good one to pick up, Merlin. Okay, this is gonna be the home stretch. Loop around, cut across, we'll have both sides of the pond on either side there when I get down there. We'll give it a whirl, let's go. So a nice little view of the pond, but I'm gonna have a 10 second rant. Two things, one, trash. You come here and people leave their trash. And two, not only the trash, but people have to do the graffiti on the rocks. Lots of trash in here. Can we please stop with the trash already? Enough already. And the same thing with the graffiti. Is this, is this necessary? Okay, that's my, that's my rant. I'm done. Okay, we're going to move on. Let's go. Just picked up Savannah Sparrow. So I added another Sparrow, which is good because not doing real good on Sparrows right now. So back on the bike, hit the road. About a three mile bike ride back to the house and I'm gonna have lunch. I'm very hungry and it's time to go. So let's move it. I have finished lunch. I'm gonna eat my chocolate chip cookies in a little bit. Donna's gonna go back out with me on her bicycle. You going? Yes. yes, she's going. I'm going, the dog is staying. That's an oven bird. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get one from the yard. That's a new yard bird. Okay, back out on the road. Just had an oven bird, although we already have it for the list, but that's a good one. No hummingbirds yet. Just had a Swainson's thrush back in here. That's a really good pickup. Glad to get that one. Down the road we go. Very unlikely spot, but three ospreys circling up here, and I'm behind the supermarket. There they are. I can hear them. I can see them. There's three of them. Finally had rock dove. I'd missed pigeon, but finally got that as well. And a barn swallow. Just got a barn swallow. On to the next spot. Here we go. Just picked up a really good bird. Solitary sandpiper. Yes. Nice. I saw this little stream running through here. I thought, go where the water is. Sure enough, solitary sandpiper. Excellent. One minute to go. Final scan. 
That's it, birdathon is over. 6 p.m., finished off at a nice spot. And I'm gonna go home. Got about a 10 minute bike ride, tally it up, give Wayne Peterson a call, give you up Decker a call. Thanks for tuning in to Exploring the Natural World. Hope everyone enjoyed my little take on the birdathon. Hopefully next year I get to go do it with uh, all my friends back out on Cape Cod, even though I did enjoy this. Okay, so that was <laughs> an interesting day. I thought I would be somewhere, maybe just over 60 birds and I ended up, ended up with 65 species total. I had 29 Friday, added 36 more today, 65 was the total. Okay, everyone, I'm back with Wayne Peterson. First off, how was it for you? It was spectacular, partly because I don't really have a backyard because I'm living in a retirement community, so that there is property here. And given the fact that well, this is a backyardathon, I put up, put on over five miles today on foot, but the bottom line was this was a really heavy migration day, at least in Hingham. Yeah, so what were some of your highlights? Well, the, the biggest single highlight really was the fact that I saw about 65 species. That's more birds in a matter of just a few hours this morning than I've seen in over a year that I've lived here. I think it was 15 species of warblers. You had some nice birds. We had some wonderful birds, yeah. I mean, the the, uh, the the warbler watching was great. What did you think you were gonna see that maybe that you didn't see, the one species? If there was one, maybe there wasn't. Well, I was gonna say, I think I saw so much more than I thought I was gonna see that that's a hard question to answer. Well, I didn't see Phoebe, for example. So Wayne, so now that Birdathon is wrapped up, uh, what's your kind of closing message uh, to the audience out there that might be watching this video in terms of the importance of Birdathon and getting involved. I think the closing message is thank you to everybody who participated. The pledging and sponsorship really running ahead of what it often is in some years, it seemed that a lot of people stepped up in a big way. So this was just a, a, a bright light. And I hope statewide, you know, everybody's impression was as sort of optimistic as mine was. Yeah, it was a good day. It was definitely a good day. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Mass Audubon. Um, enjoyed the day again and look forward to doing it again next year. Wayne, we'll talk to you soon and thanks again. Thank you, Sean. My pleasure. Take care. Okay, I'm going to ring up my good friend, Yop Decker, who's out in Princeton, Mass. Uh, typically for the Birdathon, Yop and I hike it all the way out from Race Point parking lot, all the way out to the very tip. Yop, are you there? I'm here. Hi, Sean. Hey, Yop. Good to see you, man. I had a great day yesterday. I missed our long walk on Race Point, but I substituted it for a very long walk in Princeton. How many miles did you do? I guess about 10. Nice, nice. So what was your tally? I ended up uh, seeing 69 species. Very good, very good. What were your highlights? Uh, we did good in the warblers. Uh, I had great looks on Black Dornian Warbler, which is one of my favorite warblers. They breed around here in Princeton. And possibly the, the, the highlight was even on Friday evening, uh, when I found a woodcock on my driveway. Uh, and you sent me a text uh, earlier today. Uh, you had another highlight, not a bird. What was that? Yeah, I was sitting in the woods. There are some beautiful trails behind my house when a bobcat just walked by, but then he was gone again. It was a beautiful animal. Yo, you, you, get some, uh, you get some interesting mammals out your way. You even told me last week you had that moose for the first time in your yard. You have had black bear, so you're really racking up the mammal list there. We can't count them for the bird though. though. Well, that's, that's true, that's true. Sorry we weren't able to get the gang together and go out to the outer part of the Cape, but I'm glad everybody was able to participate. Let's do it next year. Right on. All right, see you later, man. See ya. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed my Birdathon video, and please consider making a donation to your favorite Mass Audubon Sanctuary, and hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Plus, as always, remember, help protect wildlife and help protect wild places. Cheers.